I have an Excel spreadsheet here with some fake data showing employees and their payments for different pay periods. And I need to actually combine this with a sheet that shows the employee names and their projects. And I have a lot of cleanup to do. You can see this sheet has all of these extra total rows spread throughout that I would need to clean up. So although VLOOKUP seems like a great tool for this, Excel Power Query is really going to be amazing for all the things we need to do. Let's take a look. First, I'm actually going to work in a new sheet. So I'm going to go to File, New, Blank Workbook. So the sheet that has that data will kind of be my original unaltered version. From here, I want to go to the Data tab, click on Get Data, and choose From File, From Workbook. And I'll be bringing in that data to my Power Query from the other sheet. I'm going to navigate to the file, select it, and click Import. Now, I actually want to bring in multiple sheets from here, so I'm going to choose Select Multiple Items, and I'm going to bring in Sheet 1 and Sheet 2. That was the sheet with all of my main data and the sheet with the projects and names. And now I don't want to load it right away because, like I said, I have a lot of cleanup to do, so I'll click on Transform Data. Once I'm in Power Query, on the left-hand side, I can see those two sheets I brought in as queries. It can be helpful to rename these, so I'm going to click and name the Sheet 1 my main data and the Sheet 2 my project names. All right, so while I'm in project names, I can see that the columns here are named column 1 and column 2, but I actually want to use row 1. So I'm going to go to the Transform tab and I'm going to say Use First Row as Headers. And every time I make a change within one of my queries on the right hand side under querying settings, applied steps show me what I've been doing. So I can undo by clicking on the X on any of these. But I want to keep that. And now I want to go over to my main data set and I need to start cleaning up all these empty rows. So wherever I have these nulls, I need to delete those rows. The easiest way to do this is to click the drop down at the top of one of these columns where I have the values I want in every column. I'm going to click the drop down, I'm going to say remove empty, and that's going to automatically clean up all those nulls throughout my data. All right, another cleanup point here is the data types. So expended is currency, so I need to update that. I'm going to right click on that column and choose change type and then currency. The other way I could do this is through the home tab, data type, I can choose my data type here. The same thing with check date, I need to make this a date. So I'm gonna right click on the check date column, choose change type and then date. And I've cleaned up my data. All right, so now I have my two queries all set and I wanna combine them. So both queries have a name column. And if I look through these, both columns, the names are title case. So capitalized first letters. In case they didn't match, one of the things I might want to do is to transform all of the names to lowercase so that they would match on both sides. So if I made each set of names lowercase, I would know they would match. In this case, I actually extracted the names from here originally, so I know that they all match. So I want to combine these now. So in the Home tab, I'm going to go to the Merge Queries. And I can either merge queries plain, which would add them to this main query, or I can merge as new, which will give me a new query on the left-hand side. I'm going to merge as new so I have those two queries as they were. Okay, so my first table is the main table, and I need to select which column I'll be matching on, and that's the employee name column. And then I need to choose my other table, my other query, that's project names, and what I'll be matching on there. Now, in this case, I want all the data from the main table, which at the top, that's called the left. So I want to use a left outer merge. So every name from the project names that matches in the main will be pulled over. I click OK. I can see I have a merge one query that's starting to populate as this is applied. And as I scroll over, I will see my columns from the main. And on the very right, I have what looks like a table icon and the project names table. Let's specify what I want to pull out of that table. And I'll do that by clicking on this double arrow button in the project names header. 
And I only want the project name because I already have the employee name. So I'll uncheck employee name and I want to expand this out. So I'll leave it on the expand option and I can choose to use the original column as a prefix, which would be project names, project name. That's a little redundant. So I'm going to uncheck that for now and click OK. And it's going to go through and match up every employee name with the project name they were associated in the project names tab. Now I've combined my data. Now that they're merged, I can close this and load it into my spreadsheet. And when I do that, I will see one tab on the bottom for each of the queries in Power Query, plus the original sheet one, which was empty. And it might take a while to load in. I can see the status on the right-hand side under Queries and Connections. And if I lose this sidebar, I can get back to it by going to the data tab and clicking queries and connections. All right, and now I have my merge data as a table in my sheet. That was the default for close and load. And from here, I can go and make a pivot table to see the kind of information I want. For example, the amount expended by project name. Can just quickly make this a accounting value and I have a really nice pivot table showing me my merged data summarized by project. These features were shown in Microsoft for Windows. The features I showed today are also in Mac, but you might find some differences depending on what version you're using.